Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about one amazing cool Power BI update of February 2022. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. I want to thank Shekhar Madhuri Raja for being a member of Thaik 18 channel. Thank you so much for being a member. And if you are not a member of this channel, please hit the join button to know in detail about it. Now let's get started. I am into my Power BI desktop February 2022 version. And now I want to connect a Power BI data set which is available in Power BI service. I have logged into my account. And now in the home tab, you can click on the get data. And here you have an option of Power BI data set or also on the home tab itself, you have option of Power BI datasets. If you click on that one, this will give you the list of available datasets which you have access to this. And now I'm going to select this one, which is a promoted one and which is AdventureWorks 2017 on this workspace. So selecting this one and click on create. Now this is the amazing part which it comes up here. If you see now a new dialog box appears here, select the database or specific tables you would like to connect. This is really cool, right? If I zoom out in here, then I can see this is the Power BI and this is a workspace which I'm connecting now and inside to that, this is the data set and inside to that, I am getting all the list of available tables here. This is cool, right? I don't want all the tables to be available on this report, which I'm making it now. And if I don't need other tables, then I can neglect everything. This is cool. If I just want for an example, dim customer from that table or dim geography, let's take an example of dim uh, geography for an example. And if I expand this table, I can see this available columns here. And I don't have option here to select the column for here for now, um, but I can select the tables here. If you want to add everything, then you can click on this name of the data set itself so that it can select all the other tables which you need. I'm selecting them geography here. So here there's an option include tables added later. So when you want to refresh this one and there is some table which is added in later that will also add it here. And now I'm clicking on submit here. Zoom out. Direct query to Azure Analysis Services, AdventureWorks 2017 data set. And now dim geography is added here as a new table. And if I click on this data tab, if I click on dim geography, this is taking as uh, this table uses direct query and cannot be shown. This is really cool, right? This is amazing. And this is the cool feature which I want to show you here so when you want to develop a new report using power bi data set you don't need to add all the table you can choose only those table which you need so if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video